Hi, yeah. Uh, today I'm I'm not going to do Libre Office. Um, I'm going to talk about uh, my uh, Ubuntu desktop. Uh, I, I use Ubuntu 12.04 long term support release and it came out uh, in April this year. And the operating system is completely free. And I certainly would advise it for anybody who's looking to upgrade their computer from say Windows XP the, that is not really bothered about playing games but can't wait uh, for those games to come around too long uh, because Steam is now coming to Ubuntu so uh, yeah we're looking towards the end of this year for, for Left 4 Dead 2 coming out on uh, Ubuntu and a lot more other titles to follow so Steam is looking to port across eventually all of their 2500 games to Ubuntu Linux and also for other uh, Linux distributions um, like Linux Mint, Fedora and stuff like that in the near future so yeah Ubuntu is going to be the test bed for um, gaming on Linux and it does it extremely well but the the main point of this video today is to show you um, music production on um, Linux and what I want to use today is just a little program called the Linux Multimedia Studio. Some of you may or may not have heard of it, um, but I'm going to show you a little demonstration of uh, <laughs> what what I've uh, been messing around with. So, if I put Linux Multimedia Studio in there and open it up, oops, there we go. You see here, it looks very similar to something. Uh, that you may maybe used to like any other doors kind of application like uh, Fruity Loops or uh, Logic you have like the, the FX mixer you've got the song editor you got the beats and bass line editor um, over there and on the left hand side we have uh, a place where you've got all the all the preset instruments here so if I was to look at some uh, arpeggios we can have a look um, there, we go. there we go so we can then get that drag that across into my my beats editor and then I can um, set that to what I want to call it I'll just call it app one there we go so then we click to open just like that and it brings up the actual synth it's the uh, Zynad sub effects synth which is quite nice actually and you can then open up the the GUI it doesn't look anything spectacular but it does produce some really nice sounds so if we go to show instrument bank um, click on the drop down and you can see more ar arpeggi uh, arpeggios there you select one of those close it and I can just tap on this keyboard here there we go or you can use your own keyboard to do some compositions if you've got a, a MIDI um, keyboard attached to it like I have you click on there go to MIDI go to input and oops, input and go to PSR1 as I've got there and then I've now attached my keyboard to to that particular instrument so that that's basically um, Linux Multimedia Studio uh, if you right click on here you can open up a piano roll um, obviously you can't see it that well because of those there we are on the left hand side here and then you can just paste in little bits and pieces uh, and then play what you got There we go. Wonderful. So, yep, that's uh, how to set it up. And then we can go to baseline O. Uh, we can put it into our song editor. On the left there, you can add automation to the tracks as well. And we can play it. It's quite boring. But you get the idea. Anyway, I'm going to leave you with a little uh, <laughs> demonstration. Um, it's a little trancey track that I did uh, a little while back. 
uh, called Trancy Crap because it is. Uh, there we go. Loading in the project there. As you can see, um, let's get this out of the way. There's the actual sum there. Here's all the bass lines, all of the uh, different instruments that are loaded in. You can also bring in your own um, OGG sounds as well. So if you've got a load of sampled sounds, you can put them into the audio file processor and changes the pitch on whatever key that you're on. So here we are, I'm just going to leave you with this uh, trancy crap track. Uh, turn it off if you want but yep yeah, this is uh, Linux Multimedia Studio for uh, Linux and I have it running for uh, on Ubuntu 12.04 you can also get it for Windows and I'm not sure if you can get it for Mac but uh, yeah it's it's completely free completely open source and it can be used for professional purposes um, yeah, well, here at my little track. Thanks for watching.
Well, there you go. Hope you uh, enjoyed that. There was a couple of little glitches in there because I was overloading the uh, dual core CPU. But uh, other than that, you don't need to um, install any uh, low latency drivers or anything like that because it uses the the Linux kernel, um, which is got built in low latency anyway. So yeah, I would advise music music production switch yourself over to Linux because it is an ideal um, platform to work with. I uh, hope you enjoyed the demo. Uh, this is me just signing off now and uh, yeah check out my other videos in the future because I will be doing more with my, with, uh, my Ubuntu operating system. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and comment below. Sorry it was a crap track.